When it comes to true icons of music history, few, if any, have come even remotely close to Tom Petty, as he's shown a talent for creating truly timeless music beyond that of almost anybody else. Born October 20th, 1950 in Gainesville, Florida, Petty has said that his interest in rock and roll music began at a very young age, when at only 10 years old he met none other than Elvis Presley himself, thanks to a family member who was working on the Elvis film, Follow That Dream. In the late 1960s, Petty was already forming a number of different bands, the most prominent of which was called Mud Crutch, and it featured former heartbreakers Mike Campbell and Ben Montench. After that band broke up, Petty decided to strike out as a solo artist, though he eventually found himself working with the band that Tench and his friends had created, who would become called The Heartbreakers. Tom Petty and The Heartbreakers released their self-titled debut in 1976, and though it took a bit of time to catch on in the United States, the album's first single, Breakdown, remains one of the most iconic singles in all of rock history. Before the 1970s were out, the band released another two records, including the amazing Damn the Torpedoes, and giving the world unforgettable songs like I Need to Know, Don't Do Me Like That, and Refugee, among others. Though there were a handful of lineup changes during that time, the 1980s saw the band gain even further success. And in 1988, Petty himself became part of the supergroup called the Traveling Woolberries, alongside George Harrison, Bob Dylan, Jeff Lynne, and Roy Orbison. Perhaps more significantly than this, though most are unaware, all throughout Bob Dylan's 1986 live tour, it was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers that served as his backing band. And there are a number of bootleg recordings featuring this fantastic musical grouping. In 1989, Petty released what many see as his first solo record, though a number of the Heartbreakers do perform on the album. Full Moon Fever features classics like Free Fallin', Runnin' Down a Dream, and the classic I Won't Back Down, which allowed Petty to finish out the decade as one of the biggest artists on the planet. 1991 saw the release of the album Into the Great Wide Open, and with the single and the video for the title track, a number of people see it as the moment that Tom Petty introduced himself to an entirely new generation of music fans. Yet it was 1994 when Petty delivered what is unquestionably his hidden masterpiece in the form of his album, Wildflowers. And one would be hard-pressed to find as beautiful and heartfelt a record anywhere else in music history. Two years later, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers found themselves once again backing a legend as they're the backing band on Johnny Cash's Grammy Award-winning record, Unchained. 2002 saw Tom Petty release what is probably his most unique work, as his album, The Last DJ, is filled with blunt commentary on the rather mediocre state of the music industry at the time. Though most critics failed to realize the clear optimism that's underlying a number of of these tracks. 2006 brought Highway Companion, which was a definite return to form for Tom Petty, and it proved that even after more than 30 years, he was still a rock and roll force to be reckoned with. Yet in 2007, one of the most unlikely things occurred when Tom Petty decided to reform Mud Crutch, record an album, and tour shortly with that band. Beyond his music though, Tom Petty stands as one of the most outspoken defenders on the rights of musicians, with perhaps his most famous incident coming when he stood against his record label's proposal to raise the prices of his albums for what would be his 1981 record, Hard Promises. So those who question Tom Petty should take a step back and look at the man. He's been chosen to back two of the most important artists in all of music history, and yet at the same time always been able to have his unique musical sound. Whether it's the fact that over his career he sold more than 50 million albums, created nearly 20 songs that stand today as absolute pieces of culture itself, or a number of other reasons, there are few artists in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame so deserving of that space. And there has simply never been another performer in music history quite like Tom Petty. <laughs>